placenta is an organ which is highly invasive. Also, it evades the immune system of the mother because it's part father, part mother. Cancer, of course, is like a parasite which also evades the immune system. So the commonality between the two led us to discover common threads which allows us to apply that to cancer therapy and we have done that. And secondly, also to allow us to discover new molecules which might be associated with some pregnancy associated diseases like preeclampsia. He is a remarkable scientist and a, and a remarkable person. He's published over 200 papers. One measure of the impact of these publications is the number of times that they're cited by other people in their publications. Only about 1% of all the scientific publications are cited more than 100 times. In Dr. Lawless' case, he has 26 of his papers that have been cited over 100 times. He's made this lasting impact in two very different areas of research, placental biology and then also breast cancer research. To tell you the truth, I was surprised he hadn't received a career award like this previously, and he's absolutely deserving of an award like this. I feel very good, but to be honest with you, all the credit goes to my graduate students, postdoctoral fellows who worked with me. They are bright, hardworking people, and I just provide the idea and they worked with me. It's a, it's, a, it's a great honor, no doubt about it. And it belongs to everyone who helped my career. You have to follow your passion, absolutely. Without that, there is no fun in life. So follow your passion, whatever it is. You have to have an open eye, and sometimes we have data which does not go along with the common view. And you say, oh, I am wrong. No, don't throw in the data. You might be right. And as a matter of fact, that has led us to new discoveries. Science is something which you have to pursue, but for truth, truth only.